What have the young people taught you? <laughs> One thing is, there's no bullshit with high school kids. They can smell fraud a million miles away. When you coach CEOs, that's not the case. You can kind of, well, high school kids, <laughs> they smell bullshit. And so they just, they just demand authenticity, right? Which I love. Yeah. So our staff and I, when we lead these kids, we're all in. We rolled up and we're sharing and we're crying and we're leading. They also forgive easy. You know, they have something going wrong. Like a lot of these kids, they're broken families, broken homes, you know, broken dreams and been let down and, you know, they can get back up. I think when you get older, you get hurt and burned. You don't get back up as easy. Um, they have energy too. I love their energy. I get energy off of that. Sure. And they love to learn. Yeah. They're just sponges. And I, sometimes I, I get tired of learning because I'm exhausted and I want to just go home and watch my Yankees on TV. <laughs> and they just inspire me to learn and grow. Mm. Yeah. If I never ever wrote a book or worked with corporate America and all I did was work with high school kids the rest of my life, I would be happy. I just haven't figured out that that doesn't really pay the bills. And I, got, I haven't figured out how to do that. So that's kind of my nonprofit. And right, that's not where I make money. I make money on the, the business side. Yeah, You have to do one to do the others, yeah. you know, and I'm okay with that. But one day it's gonna be all kids. You're drawing these young people from very different backgrounds, you know, some very, very privileged, um, some had astoundingly difficult lives, you know, very early on. In what way are their issues the same? They all have issues. Yeah. They all have anxiety. They all have fears. Um, and I think a lot of times we look at the inner city people as, you know, inner city people, you know, they have their challenges and, they, and you know, and it's the more time you spend the other, it, we all have different issues. We all have family issues. We all have self-confidence issues. We're all kind of one and they, they love easily. Yeah. They, 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 they share off the, take off the mask right away. And, and the, the kids are teaching the break dancing and the, 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 the dancing, the moves and, and, and the country music and everyone's just kind of sharing their cultures. And I mean, there's nothing better. Mm. than really pouring into kids and teaching them how to love and serve, challenging them to be the next generation of leaders. Yeah. In my humble opinion, Matthew, the next generation of leaders are humble, they're genuine, they're authentic, they put others first, and they love, and they serve all people. That's the generation that I want to, you're not going to find that in D.C., you're not going to find that in most churches, most temples, most synagogues. We live in a divided world. Yeah, I want to share the other message, a non-political, non-religious message of love. Yeah. By the way, corporate America needs the same message. Well, people are people. It doesn't matter if they're at work or at home, right? The needs don't essentially change. 